Casey, congratulations for qualifying for the big goal, the Olympic Games in August. We already talked with Jake a little bit in Hamburg and um, he was really excited to make it done with you, <laughs> young guy, <laughs> and your coach. So tell us how excited are you and how difficult was it in Dutch big um, player community in the US to qualify? Yeah, it's uh, crazy because when I played, first decided to play with Jake or he picked me as his partner, we never played together and I, I didn't know if I was able to, you know, win tournaments on the world tour. And I'd played a year before and only gotten a few ninths. And so it was a big, uh, a big step for me. And I had a big shoes to fill in Sean Rosenthal. He is an amazing player, two-time Olympian. And so they also finished in 2012, number one on the world tour in points. And so <laughs> it went from not playing on the world tour at all to playing with Jake and taking Rosie's spot, right? And so for me, that was very nerve-wracking. There's a lot of pressure, I felt like, but it was good pressure, and uh, I was very excited about it. So I've loved every minute of playing with Jake, and it's been such a big dream of mine to play in the Olympics, and to be able to accomplish that is is very, very special. And I, I'm sure when I'm on the flight over to Rio, I guarantee tears come out a little bit. <laughs> this is, I think this is one, one thing when it all is packed, uh, tournament and after tournament, and then it's just not a, not more about three weeks ago. Um, but did you already, uh, did Jake also coach you already how the impressions will be there and they will be different to the normal word to more media more pressure from the, from the country maybe yeah yeah he's you know he's because he's already been there two times he's really helped helped me uh and given me information and what to expect and what's going to happen and so uh for me it's just a matter of controlling my emotions when i lose when i win i could talk to the press for days yeah. when i lose i want nothing to do with them because i ah, i just hate losing and so i'm learning how to Well, I'm trying to learn how to be able to recover quicker after losses and be able to talk about it and express my emotions in a way that is not so negative and escaping the, the situation. So, you know, he's prepared me a lot for that, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do it at the Olympics. <laughs> okay, we will see you uh, there. So, um, and I think all the, all the, the other exciting st stuff is to you get your... Nicks or closest? How do you call it? The the uniform oh, yes. and then oh. when when is the style date to, to to be there? Did you already got it or? Yeah, our t we actually get them this next Tuesday. We have a, a dinner party where we go and the our our sponsorman is presenting our Olympic gear and the whole kit and everything and we are so excited. I've actually been thinking about it a lot because. That's a, something that you keep for the rest of your life, right? I mean, and, and then hopefully my, my two sons, Cash and Guy, one day can play in it. You know, <laughs> it's really cool. And yeah. you get some smokings or something, or, or is yeah. it? Yeah, you, we also get from uh, USA, uh, just United States of America, Olympic yeah. Committee. We get all that stuff. We actually go a few days before in Texas, and we do processing. We get all of our stuff. We try it on. We get a cool ring with the Olympic logo on it. We get special American yeah, thing, right? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. And you have the option to put diamonds on it and everything. It's really cool. So we go and we get fitted and we do all our paperwork. And then everyone, I think the whole plane is all athletes going to Rio. We fly over a few days early. We get to stay at the the athlete village and then we go to our hotel. So yeah, it's really cool. And last question: the expectations and what is the goal? I think everyone who were here at the microphone said, when you be there, you want to take a medal. Yeah. Same with you? Absolutely. And that's actually the conversation that Jake Gibb had with me four years ago when he asked me to be his partner. He said, I have unfinished business. I want to win a medal in the Olympics, and I want you to be the guy that helps me get it. And I said, I'm in. Let's do it. So, yeah, 100% is a medal in the Olympics. So a little bit pressure on you, yeah. but uh, I think this is what what makes you more focused and right. done it, right? Absolutely, right? Like a diamond, just gotta, through the pressure, you hopefully can come out stronger, yeah.